This video will cover the topic exponents and signed fractions. In this video, we will learn how to evaluate fractions raised to exponents. How would I approach this topic? Good question. First, we must understand how to multiply fractions as well as how to evaluate exponents. Let's briefly review each of these. If we are given 3 fourths times 1 half, we can rewrite this as a fraction where we multiply the two top terms together and the two bottom terms together. Since 3 times 1 is 3 and 4 times 2 is 8, our answer is 3 eighths. So that's how you multiply fractions. Now can we try an exponent example? Sure. If we are given 3 to the 4th power, we can rewrite this as a multiplication of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 because 3 is the base and we want to use it as a factor 4 times. 3 times 3 equals 9 and 9 times 3 equals 27 and 27 times 3 equals 81. So our answer is 81. Okay, now that I have the background knowledge, how do we put it together? Good question. Let's talk about what it looks like when we combine these two concepts. If we are given a fraction raised to an exponent, we must use the fraction as a factor as many times as the exponent tells us to. Let's take a look at a sample problem. Two-thirds to the fourth power. Using our rules for exponents, we can rewrite this as two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds. Now, using our rules for fraction multiplication, we can rewrite this as two times two times two times two over three times three times three times three. Since 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is on the top, also known as the numerator, our product will have 16 on the top. And since 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is on the bottom, also known as the denominator, our product will have 81 on the bottom. This gives us a final answer of 16 over 81. Okay, I think I understand now. First, I write the fraction the number of times stated by the exponent. Then, I multiply the numerators across and the denominators across. That's right. 